you've been around some great players in your career. I was just thinking all the way over here, the quarterbacks like Dylan Gabriel and Hendon Hooker, and uh, I'm missing a bunch of them, but what, what's something that some of the best, maybe quarterbacks, just best players you've been around have in common? What's like one trait that comes to mind? Do you want to get recruited to play big time college football? I'll teach you how right now. Link in my bio. It's free. Yeah, you missed Brock Purdy. Brock, Brock, Brock Purdy, yeah. Uh, how do I miss that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and our kid here, Byron Brown, would, yeah, would go freshman, into that right? same mold. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Um, we were talking about this. Me and my wife were talking about this the other day. We were talking about Iowa State. And, and when we got there, flipping that culture, and a young man named David Montgomery, who really had started the flip of that. And just yeah. you see what he's doing now in Detroit and, and like the special dude that kid was, kid, young man, man now. Like, it, it's so fascinating because all those guys you named were were not just really good players, but like culture changers, like yeah. culture setters. And culture is such an overused word in, in our profession. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the ability to not just set a standard, but hold the standard. Mm. I think a lot of guys can set a standard and say, man, like I, I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to do this better than anybody else. I'm going to I'm gonna perfect my craft. I think that's really hard to do in this day and age mm -hmm. to hold yourself accountable to the football side of it when there's all these other things going on. But I think the really special elite players were also really special elite leaders mm -hmm because they were able to hold other people to that standard. Yeah. So not just... Prize Picks is my favorite way to get action on sports. And I've tried all the different apps. Daily Fantasy, Fantasy, Sports Betting, Prize Picks is the very best. So on Prize Picks, you pick players instead of teams. So if you know how players are going to perform, you can make tons of money on Prize Picks. On Prize Picks, each player has a set stat projection, and you pick more or less on that number. So for example, Steph Curry, more or less than 20 points. If you think he's going to have more, you pick more. If you think he's going to have less, you pick less. And when you're right, it hits. You pair that with a few other players you can make up to 100x your money and the best part is i have a 100 percent deposit match up to 100 dollars for all of you with code adam b or the link in the description so if you put in 100 dollars on price picks they will match that 100 dollars for you so then you get 200 dollars to play with so use code adam b for that 100 percent deposit match up to 100 dollars link in the description i think the really special elite players were also really special elite leaders mm -hmm. because they were able to hold other people to that standard yeah. so not just not just man i'm going to i'm going to work really hard i'm going to i'm going to eat right sleep right go to class treat people the right way yes like you need that mm -hmm. can you make other people do that yeah. with you yeah. and i think that's what separates the the really good players or even elite players in their own right from the true culture changers um and they don't all have infectious personalities they like brock purdy did not is not the most exuberant yeah. outgoing human being ever he just happened to work harder than everybody mm -hmm. else and he demanded that other people yeah. work as hard as him yeah and when it wasn't right he held everybody accountable including the coaches to mm -hmm. it hendon hooker the same way dylan gabriel mm -hmm. as a young guy demanded that it was to his standard yeah. once he was comfortable enough in himself and what he was doing in his process. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about Byron Brown is still growing in that regard, coming out of his shell. Mm -hmm. And it's our job as coaches to empower that. Yeah. Uh, but, and then there's been a lot of them, uh, but, but they've all had the ability to demand others yeah. live up to their standard. Yeah. And I think it's really hard. It's a lot on an 18 to 22 year old, but that's what makes them special. Yeah. That's why they're different.